The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 15th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magical, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We certainly have a mixed bag out there. So let's go through that mix. You got the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ trading to the upside. You've got the Russell trading to the downside. Dow's up 79, S&P 6, NASDAQ 11. The Russell is down 9. The semis are up 21. You've got gold off 11 bucks. It's had a wild ride this morning. I expect that ride to continue. Silver's up 23 cents. That's trading out of 28.56. Light sweet crude is off a buck at 84.59. Natural gas is off 4 cents. Trade at 172. And the 30 year treasury is down 2 points. She's printing out at 114. Our leaders in the clubhouse, speak about clubhouses, how about that Masters tournament? Encore Wire up 32 bucks, a 12% move. Super Micro up 18 bucks, 2%. Goldman Sachs, a $13 move, that's 3.5%. Eli Lilly up 11. KLA Corp is up by about 10 bucks. To the downside, it is Micro Strategy, a 70 point move, nearly 5%. Service now, 2 and 3 tenths percent, nearly 18 points. Salesforce is down 17 bucks. Molina Healthcare down 15 or 4%. Equinix is off 13. That's less than 2% to the downside. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So, what do you want to look at? Hmm. Let's go take a look at what's going on in the equity futures. Well, first, First, let's take a look at this. I don't know if there's anything new to report here. I don't think so. But one snapshot, you can kind of see what's going on here. Now we'll go take a look at the intraday chart. So if you take a look at the ES Mini upper left-hand side, you've got a A to B equals CD pattern. Its initial price projection would be 51.43. We're within seven points of that bottom on, on Friday. The question is, is that close enough to completing the A to B equals CD pattern? I don't know the answer to that. If we got a bullish reversal candle, I would say yes. If we don't and we're still below profile, then I'd say price is likely going to go ahead and extend its way down to that 51.43 level. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ has a TD9 count bottom. It's been in place for over a week now. To negate that signal, you need to see a close below 18.051.50. Price still has been really finding great support at the bottom of that daily profile. So another area to be watching at day's end is 18.163. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, whether it was Friday or today's low, uh, that's going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count bottom. Right now it's Friday's low at 38.132. It doesn't even matter if price moves lower uh, because that will still go ahead and complete the pattern. In the case of the Russell 2000, you can see it's A to B equals CD pattern. Price is approaching that one to one level. The one to one is at 2,640. Now, we want to be paying attention here because you're going to get a bottom. You've got a bottom in the Dow. Let's assume that the bottom holds inside the NQ. And then we've got the ESN, the Russell 2000 that would need bullish reversal candles to confirm bottoms out there. And we want to, we want to factor that in 
to a real possibility. Why would that be a real possibility, Steve-O? Now, that's an excellent question. That answer comes from Peter in Park City. Peter in Park City would say, just look at that New York Stock Exchange advanced client oscillator, folks. It is down below the oversold reading of minus 150. In fact, we're approaching the minus 250 level. Last time we were down at that minus 250 level, well, that was down in around the uh, August of 2023 time frame. That went ahead and bottomed with a divergence pattern. You get the divergence pattern or you can get to get the oversold condition worked off or you can just simply get that V move out of here as we did back in September of 2022. Uh, so you are in an oversold territory. doesn't mean that that oversold condition works its way off today, but we are in that area. So you want to be paying attention to that. That takes us back really to those equity future contracts. We can take a look at the indices as well. But so we're watching. So you got two of four that have identified, identified bottoming patterns out there. Now let's go ahead and shift over and let's take a look at what's going on intraday. Let's see which charts are up on our screen first. Looks like the ES mini. So let's start there. Then we'll go take a look at the NQ. Let's take a look at the uh, Dow as well. Here we take a look at the ES mini. We don't have to talk about the daily time frame. Let's shift over to the three five hour time frame. On a five hour basis, do we have any kind of a bottom signal? The answer there is no, I don't. What we have right now is price trading with inside a profile. Support at 51.60, reaches at 52.25. That's on the five-hour time frame. On a four-hour time frame, we've got a rose momentum indicator signal, no bullish reversal candle, price consolidating with inside its profile. Support is between 51.59 and 51.79, resistance at 52.19. In the case of the 120-minute chart, there is a rose momentum indicator bottom with price consolidating with inside its profile. Support zone is between 51.59 and 51.79 resistance 52.18. In the case of the 60-minute time frame chart out there, there is a new profile that formed last hour. We are trading below that low at 51.82. That says that we could get back to test its uh, TD9 cal bottom area. Looks like we're doing that as we speak right now. Yeah, we are. So it's testing that swing point low from 4 p.m. on Friday. If we take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, price is trading below its breakout level, 51.75. A second close below that on a 30-minute basis, meaning 17 minutes from now is going to suggest lower price. I do not see a bottom pattern on the 15-minute. I do see a TD9 count top. I see a TD9 count bottom on the 10-minute chart. So how do you put all this together? Well, the way I put it together is watch that 10-minute chart right now because that's got the clear bottoming signal. It should result in a rally up to the 5185 level. 5185 would get us back above the 120 minute oscillator and change line out there or would take us right up to that area. So I'd start really just by watching the intraday uh, 10 minute chart. In fact, I can see a five minute chart out here as well. The five minute chart is an attempting is right now attempting to form a road's momentum indicator bottom. It's a bullish uh, bull sash candle. This candle is going to complete in just less than two minutes out here, a minute, a little over a minute. Uh, so I don't know whether the candle is going to maintain this formation or not, but if it does, we should see a rally up to 5178, perhaps even 5182. It would be a close by 5182. That's where a counter trend move on a five minute basis would uh, uh, would find resistance. If we get above that 5182 level, that says we head to 5190. So watch the, 50, uh, the five minute and the 10 minute chart there. They're the ones with the bottoming signals if you are a day trader. Now let's go take a look at the NQ. Now it may take a moment here for these NQ charts to populate. Uh, sorry about that. I'll just have to tell you a story in between then and now. No, I'm not going to tell you a story, but that was a heck of a master's tournament. And we were talking just a little bit in the uh, den out there. But uh, Scotty Scheffler, what a machine that guy is. But uh, those the top four or five uh, players out there, you know, they just ran into some trouble at Amen Corner. That's why they call it Amen Corner. Because when you get through there and you haven't lost a whole lot, well, you've got something to say amen about. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we've got the NQ up on our screen out here. The only bottoming signal that we have at the moment also is coming from its 10-minute uh, time frame uh, chart out there. Uh, that says on a 10-minute basis, if we get a close below the uh, last 10-minute bar, let me give you that price point out here. That price point is uh, let's just move this over a little bit. Uh, that price point is at uh, 18.164, even Steven. We see a close below that on a 10-minute basis. That tells us we had lower. The 15-minute might follow up with a, a TD9 count bottom over the course of the next half hour or so out there. We had a nice only topping signal or intraday topping signals that we had. We had a 15-minute TD9 count top, and we had the 60-minute TD9 count top. Now, price is trading with inside its profile. So I would say the larger time frame has more relevance, so to speak. And so you want to watch that 18. Uh, where Oh, it's formed a new profile that's already trading below. So skip that idea. That uh, bottom of that profile is at 18,242. So this is suggesting, so price is inside this swing point. That's a swing point from 4 p.m. That's got a low out there of 18,12025 and a high of 18,198.50. We are trading with inside that swing point right now. Uh, you need to see a rejection of that uh, swing point, in my opinion. But that's an hourly time frame. And we've got another 51, uh, sorry, 41 minutes left in the hour here. Um, so I'd first uh, keep your eye on the 10-minute uh, time frame chart um, and then kind of go from there. Now, that's on the NQ. We'll come back and take a look at the other equity uh, future contracts if we need to. But let me get to a few of the requests out here. Uh, let me put one in as well. And so let's go to the first. The first one was for Mr. Bill inside the Tigers Den. Mr. Bill would like to take a look at natural gas. So let's get up the natural gas future contracts. So let's take a look at um, multiple time frames. So over on the left-hand side for May, you've got the uh, monthly time frame chart out here. As we open up the monthly chart, what do we see? First, we see Stevie struggling to open it up. What we see out here is we're trading at uh, lows. We don't see any kind of a bottom signal. I don't have an A to B equals CD pattern that I can draw in here. There just was never enough of retracement. And uh, so this suggests, uh, other than being in wave number four, letter D, uh, the only way that gets confirmed is with a higher 
uh, low out there. So that was last month. That low from last month, 1.686. Have we gotten below that yet? We've got no, we have not. So if we tick below that, that just simply extends that uh, piece out there. Basil always says that uh, after wave number four confirms, then the market may do something else out there. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart is waiting for a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom out there. Short of that, we're trading below profile. We're trading below its red oscillator and change line. That likely will lead to lower price, Mr. Bill. If we take a look at the daily time frame, we've got profile resistance between 1.857 and 1.879. Those are the two different systems that are generating that profile resistance, the white background and the black background. Well, we can see that uh, there was one one breakout above that level that was a one hit wonder and then immediately price fell into uh, back into its profile now we're trading below its bullish structure profile to buck 75 this does have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that was formed with this bullish piercing candle we're trading inside that so it looks to me like what price should do at least is go test that low 1.686 if we look at the intraday charts out here mr bill what i don't see is any kind of a bottoming pattern I see some roads momentum indicator signals, but no bullish reversal candles out there. So it's not really looking that great for natural gas. It's looking more like it wants to test the lows for March 28th before it does anything else, at least as of 11:22. So, Mr. Bill, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for there. If not, let me know, and we'll try to get that up for you as well. Uh, Dan F. would like to take a look at PZZA. So let's get those charts up on our screen. And Dan's question is, he'd like to go along this. Is it bottoming? today with a TD nine count pattern. So let's pull those charts up. Let's try to answer that question out there. So here's a, uh, a listener that's using the TD9 system. That's a beautiful thing. And what we can see is that today is going to become bar number nine. Right now it is today's low. That's the key area. Uh, is it going to form a TD9 count? It sure looks like it will go ahead and form that today, complete that pattern tomorrow. When I say complete that pattern tomorrow, um, I mean, complete that pattern tomorrow, meaning we could see lower lows out there. How do we know if we're not going to see lower lows? Well, we'd probably see some other types of bottoming signals on intraday charts and so on and so forth. Now, on a weekly time frame chart, and this is the reason or one of the reasons that Dan should be looking at Papa John's, is you can see that on a weekly basis, the completed TD9 count bottom takes place this week, anytime between now and Friday out there. And on a monthly time frame, Price is pulling back into a swing point. This swing point is support because it was a bearish engulfing candle that followed. So November 23rd, November 2023, I should say, is the key area to watch. Volume there is 13.7 million shares. Last month coming into it was with 9 million shares. So far this month, you're oh, you're also at 9 million shares this month. You were at 60, I'm sorry, 60 million shares the month before. And again, we're going into 13 million shares. So because we closed inside there, that swing point on a monthly basis last month odds favor that that low gets tested out there that low again is 60 66 so far on a monthly basis we've been down to 61 24 so maybe you get that td9 count bottom on a daily time frame which gets us down to test that uh, swing low and reject that level out there and then i would definitely say you have a buy point but maybe you've actually got that today how are we going to try to figure that out well what we're going to do is going to go to the shorter term time frame charts so let's start off here what do we have we've got a 130 minute time frame chart 330 minute bars in a day turns out that uh, pizza pzza loves the td9 count because on a 30 minute basis you're completing a td9 count pattern right now it completes in less than six minutes that should at least lead to a rally towards 6380 i would say if price closed above 6380 then likely the td9 count bottom is in oh let me open this back up i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that i meant to go down to a shorter term time frame chart now the oscillator and change line is not going to match up we just want to we're looking for bottoming signals not so much that on a 65 minute time frame you now have a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom this suggests uh, dan that if price were to close above 62.35, you'd have a profile change in trend signal, and that would suggest a bottom. Let's look at a 30-minute time frame chart out here, see what we've got inside of PZZA. Same pattern, really two patterns, TD9 count bottom, Rose Mentum indicator bottom. What price has been unable to do is take out the 62.16 level. We've been in there for the last several hours out there. That includes Friday, really is what I'm talking about, since about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So now what we want to do is you want to see some close above that profile profile resistance level at 62.16. That certainly doing that could add to an idea that maybe that today is the TD9 count bottom. Closing of 63.09 would really do that. That's its TD9 count breakdown resistance. So yes, Dan, 
PZZA has got a TD9 count bottom that's going to confirm today, complete tomorrow for its daily time frame. The weekly time frame it's completing this week. So I hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks for your request. Uh, Alton wants to take a look at Baidu. B-I-D-U is the ticker symbol. Let's take a look at it. His question is buy, sell, or hold. So let's take a look at Baidu on the daily time frame. We've got to open up this set of charts here. And what are we doing? We're trading into a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom that formed back here on March the 7th. That swing point has volume of 3.6 million shares. Friday got down into it with 5 million shares. We closed inside it, suggests that low gets uh, tested. The low, what I'm referring to, is the low from March 7th. That low is at 96.58 out there. I do not see any other kind of pattern. Today's bar number seven. So maybe what you get out here is you get a test and rejection of that low. That's done on less than 3.6 million shares. And maybe at the same time, you get a TD9 count bottom for the daily time frame. So does it say buy? It does not say buy. Does it say hold? Well, let's try to answer that question when we come back from this break. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right. That means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. So Alton wants to know, buy, sell, or hold Baidu? Well, I can't really suggest that you sell it right now. If I look at a monthly time frame chart, we can see that price is right now dealing with potential support, the bottom of its bullish structured profile, and that is at the uh, 98.54 level. A grand we're trade at 97.81. That's a monthly time frame chart, but it says we are near a support area, and we're also trading into the swing point from October of 22 with some lighter volume, as we did last month and the month before. Now, when we look at the weekly time frame chart, we open this up what we can see is price is also testing not that, not that we have a bottom signal or anything along those lines but it's testing prior swing points the one that uh, first pops up is january of 20, january 26 out there of 2024 22 million shares traded then when that level got tested it was with 18 million shares that was back on march the 8th last week we got inside this with a total of 17 million shares so we're trading inside the swing with lighter volume we're below the red oscillator change line we are below the bottom of his profile. It suggests that that low gets uh, tested out there if it hasn't already. There's no, it has been tested this month as well. So I can't suggest a buy and I can't suggest a sell. So that says if you do hold it, I'd continue holding it out there. It's really going to be that daily time frame chart that you need to be focused on, Alton. So I hope that that review helped you out. Let's move on to our next one. The next one is coming in from Marvin. Marvin wants to take a look at AMD and his question is, has it bottomed? So as signals go, on a daily time frame, the answer would be no. I do not have any kind of a bottom signal. We are in wave number F, that is number six out there. And oftentimes wave number seven can identify that bottom. So you've got to wait till that forms out there. F is going to extend itself since we're below Friday's low today. So maybe that forms sometime this week out there. You'd love to see that form as long as the weekly chart holds its buy zone. The buy zone is between 159.33, that's its bullish structured profile and 164.45. If we get a close below 159.33, it could open up the door for the daily time frame chart, Marvin, to get down to 140.15. 140.15 is its breakout level. I'd also have you note on the daily time frame that its oscillator and change on has been a significant resistance level. Why? Well, if we take a look at that trading session out here from the trading day of April the 4th, price rallied up in that line and pulled right back and got below bottom of its profile on a daily time frame. So AMD, possibly on a weekly basis, may have bottom, but because we don't have the daily signal, it's somewhat of a suspected bottom. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, you've got a road's momentum indicator top, you've got price that should pull back to the 149 level out there. So the monthly chart says I want lower, weekly chart says that's not gonna happen unless you can bust through my wall of support at 159.33, and the daily right now just kind of hanging out there, but you could get either a wave seven bottom no, that's the only pattern that I see out there that you could possibly get. So, Marvin, hope that helps you out with regard to what you're going to do with AMD. And as always, thanks so much for taking time to write in. S&P inside our Tiger's Den wants to take a look at LNC. So let's get those LNC charts up here. What are they telling us? Well, they're telling us that today will become a TD Nikau bottom. That's Lincoln National Corp out there. That says this pattern will complete tomorrow. When this pattern completes, it should lead to a rally towards 30.07. However, because price is below the bottom of its daily profile, close below it on Friday, actually the first rally point would have to be that bottom, 28.71. So you're going to get a TD Nikau bottom pattern on the daily, confirms today, completes tomorrow, should lead to a rally towards 28.71. If you can get above 28.71, then we're likely on our way up to the 30.07-ish area out there. Lincoln National on its weekly time frame is pulling back in its test day key level of sport and that is its weekly oscillator and change line out there so you'd love to see that hold while the td9 count bottom on its uh, daily time frame uh, confirms out there and then on a weekly time frame it was wave number seven that identified the bottom out here that was uh, confirmed the week of june of 2012 uh, month of june of 2023 out there it's a monthly chart we're looking at steve will wake up uh so uh lnc uh, stay tuned because you may be looking at a bottom out there. Let's see what's going on on a intraday basis out here. Pull this chart over. On 30-minute time frame chart, we got uh, nada zip at this moment. Let's try the 65-minute time frame chart. See what we have here. We've got uh, bar number eight of a TD9 count, roads meant indicator signal. It's got some potential out there to form that bottom. And finally, let's look at the 30-minute time frame chart. 
in the 30 minute time frame chart, also in wave number seven out there, also roads momentum indicator signal. So there's a possibility. But I would say on a 30 minute basis, what you need to see SNP is a close above 2809. That's a TD9 count breakdown level. We can see that that level was tested at about 10 o'clock this morning, and that area held as resistance. So that's what we're taking a look at when we look at Lincoln National Corp out there. Our next request from uh, John inside the Tiger's Den. And John wants to take a look at uh, Goldilocks. So let's go pull up uh, Goldilocks. And if anything was suggesting that this weekend and the activities uh, between Iran and Israel were going to all, were, you know, somebody always knows something, right? And the interesting thing is with the patterns that you and I trade that we pay attention to, uh, oftentimes these patterns just simply pick them up. And I think that Friday was no different. What I mean by that is, if we take a look at this daily time frame chart out here, we know that on, uh, we know that we formed a TD9 count topping pattern on April the 8th. And that pattern was tested a couple of different times, really the following day, the following day after that, and then finally on April the 11th. And then on Friday, price goes ahead and moves higher and then starts to move lower. Now, when price at day's end finally did find support at its TD9 count breakout level. So on a daily time frame, this is telling us that we no longer have a TD9 count top out there on the daily time frame. But the way that it gave that up, the way that it gave up price out there, uh, was to suggest that this could be a blow off top. Now, whether it is or it isn't, you and I don't have to make that determination. Why? Because we have a new profile that is attempting to form out there. And at this stage here, it looks like it may stick. And if it does stick, then we know where there's a key level of support, and that would be the bottom of that profile. That would be 231870. I'd write that down on your pad of paper as we speak right now. Now, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to actually expand it. I'll pull it back a bit. So, well, we have not seen gold has not closed below the bottom of a profile since February the 16th out there. So if we do get a close below the bottom of the profile, that could open up the door for a move back to 2186. That's the daily time frame. That's where we started out there, mostly because of that new profile that you want to have on your pad of paper. On a weekly time frame chart, you've got a TD9 count top that is likely going to form this week, complete next week. Monthly chart says, I don't know what you guys are talking about as far as the top. All that means that longer term, gold looks pretty good. But in the intermediate term, which could be for a few weeks, on the daily term, we want to be paying close attention. If you look at the intraday charts out there, you can see on the 30-minute time frame, we had a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom form. That completed, or that formed out here, let me get my cursor, that was at the 11 a.m. hour as we were coming out of the air. Now, if price can take out 23.74.40, a new 30-minute profile that is formed, that would suggest that gold would rally or could rally further out there. So when you're watching on Goldilocks out there, you're still watching that daily profile out there so that's a new piece of information that should be helpful to all of us so john c i hope that provided with the information you were looking for we get back to this break jimmy d wants to take a look at your tick so b y o n and you know you know what i'm going to call it no i'm not i'm going to simply call it beyond ink because that's the name of the company spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So BYON, it's actually Beyond Inc. That's the name of the uh, company out there. And this is for uh, Jimmy D inside the Tiger's Den. So I think we took a look at this uh, sometime last week. And it did complete a TD9 count bottom pattern on Friday. Uh, it's being negated as we speak. This tells us about a strong momentum move to the downside. That's under the assumption that price does negate its TD9 count bottom. In order to do that, it needs to close below 2613. We're at 2535 as we speak right now. So the daily time frame its next area of support could be 2234 2234 is the next breakout area for it if we look at the weekly time frame chart the weekly had a sell the d point pattern that sell the d point pattern has led to a close below its bullish structured uh, weekly profile it did that a couple of weeks ago its next area of support Geez, it's really it's down at 1501. So let's not worry about its level of support because you'd be dealing with the daily breakout level at 2234 first. But I think before we get there, so we know that the daily is bearish. We know that the weekly is bearish. And we take a look at the monthly. We can see that big old sideways consolidation. Now, what price is doing, it's pulling back, likely to test that oscillator and change line. Jimmy D, that is currently printed out at 2374. We know as price moves lower or higher, that number is going to change by a few pennies or 20 cents or whatever that might be. So that's the area where it's likely headed to. If price were to close below that, then that would suggest move back to its buy zone. So the buy zone for BYON is between 1845 and 2125. That's its monthly bullish structured profile. Without any other profiles out there, that's really profile support. So it looks to me like beyond, BYON wants to continue to head lower. Now, if we take a look at its intraday charts out here, just kind of curious, let's start actually with the 30-minute time frame. Uh, five hours showing a negated TD9 count bottom pattern out here. But on a 30-minute basis, what did we have? This was at 11 o'clock on April the 12th. We never got a bottoming signal here. Price never took out its its resistance level. So remember, we see a bottoming pattern on a daily time frame. We don't want to automatically assume that it's going to form a bottom. We want to get to those intraday charts. Now, maybe the 65-minute time frame chart shows us a bottoming signal. And the answer is um, if we take a look at yeah, it showed us a small bottoming signal 
at uh, six uh, at, at four p.m. on a Friday, but that got negated immediately right out of the block uh, this morning out here. So no bottoming signal there. So beyond, even though it's got it had that daily TD nine count, the intraday charts never confirmed that as a bottom candidate out there. So it does look like it wants to head lower. Jimmy, hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Duncan Steve would take like a take would like to take a look at. Don't worry, I'll get that out of my mouth out there. Would like to take a look at CRISPR out here. CRSP is the uh, tip 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 ticker symbol. Hey, don't worry about it. If we take a look at this, what do we have? We've got a Rosemont indicator signal that has been triggered. You've got a negated TD9 count bottom pattern. So now what you'd be looking for here, Duncan, is a bullish reversal candle to confirm a daily bottom. But when we open up this daily time frame chart, let's see what we see out here. Do we see that oscillator and change line? We do. How about that as a resistance level? If I were to ask you this question, folks, if you take a look at, B, uh, at uh, CRISPR, CRSP, what level do you think price needs to close above to tell us that we have a change in trend signal out there? Yeah, it's Stevie's oscillator and change line. Currently printed 63.51, but that would be moving higher if price moves higher. So I'd say that price needs to close above 64.55 on a daily time frame to suggest that CRISPR may want to rally further. So knowing that about the daily time frame, where is the price might be headed to on a weekly time frame? Turns out that's bad news bears too. Why? Because price last week closed below the bottom of its profile. We're trading below that level right now, that level being 62.84. So that's a bummer of a signal. Now, CRISPR, much like we took a look at in Beyond on its monthly time frame chart out here, price is pulling back and is testing its oscillator and change on. That's going to be the next key level for you to be paying attention to. Um, I'm sorry, this is SNP. Duncan wants CFLT. Sorry about that. My, my fault there, Duncan. Thank you for uh, slapping me up by the top of my head with a two by four. Everything is happening for us. So uh, uh, SNP. Uh, just like uh, Beyond, it looks like uh, CRISPR is going to pull back and try to find support at its monthly oscillator and change line. That is currently printing at 58.92. If price were to close below that, that would be your signal that CRISPR wants to head lower. It may be headed to its buy zone. The buy zone at the moment on a monthly time frame is between 43.74 and 48.54. So SNP, I hope that helped you out with CRISPR, and I hope that helped you out too, Duncan. Uh, out there. So um, uh, wait for that daily bullish reversal candle, that's for sure, to generate at least a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Now let's go take a look at that next request, which is the one that Duncan had written in about, and that is CFLT. So as we pull up these charts, what do we know? We know that price closed below the bottom of its profile, daily profile, on Friday. It found that level to be resistance today. We also know there's an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. How do you know that, Stevie? Well, if we open up the chart, then you'll easily see that. Now, price has approached, has hit actually today, the one-to-one -one price projection level. The one-to-one -one price projection level for CFLT, Duncan, was 28.44. So we've hit that, no problem. Now, in order for that pattern to complete, we need to see a bullish reversal candle. Short of that, price might go target the next A to B equals CD price projection level, and that would be down at 27.17. That would be the 1.272 expansion. How likely is that going to unfold? I would say, well, looks pretty likely if you look at the weekly time frame chart. Now, why is that, Steve-O? Well, the reason is because we closed below the bottom of its weekly profile last Friday, the Friday before. We're trading below it now. So that says, uh, now the only other thing that I see out here is a trend line. Let's try to draw this trend line in here. We go from here as our touch point, and there would be our next touch point. There you go. So the only thing on CFLT, Duncan, that I can see that is potential support based on where we're trading right now would have to be that trend line out there. Is that the reason to take a buy? No, I don't think so. You need more reasons than that out there. And on a monthly time frame, we just have a good old-fashioned consolidation. And that's between the price level of 2201 at support and 3909 as resistance. Now, if we take a quick peek here at the intraday charts for CFLT. For CFLT, do we have any kind of bottoming signal? Well, we've got a – no, we don't. We've got nothing on the 30-minute time frame chart. Let's try the 65 out here, see if we've got anything for it. Let me pull this open. You've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That was confirmed with that last bar at 65 minutes, which was a key reversal bar. Now, price is trading with inside its profile. So on a short-term time frame, Duncan, if price is able to close above, let me give you this number here, I would say two consecutive closes above 
2871. If you get two consecutive closes above that, you should see a rally, uh, which may just be a counter trend move up to 2978. But first, you've got to close above that level in order for that to come to fruition or likely to come through to fruition. So uh, CFLT, um, not much more. The only support level, again, being that uh, weekly, potential weekly trend line that we see out there. So hope that helps you out. And uh, uh, thanks for thanks for letting me uh, say that you also were the one that was asking about BYON. Now, let me just check the phone because I don't see any other requests inside the Tiger's Den. If somebody had posted something and I overlooked it, would you be kind enough to just simply retype that in? That way I don't want to uh, miss out on that. And while you're doing that or considering that, I'm looking at the uh, emails that have come in and I see nothing, which just lines us right up to going into the break. So we'll be right back, Steve. Steve. Sorry about that. We'll be right back, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to take a look at ticker symbol F. That is uh, Ford, a motor company out there. Ford right now on Friday, close below the bottom of its daily profile. It's trading below that as we speak right now. 12.63 is it. It has an A to B equals CD to the downside. It succeeded the one-to-one -one level. It says we're headed uh, lower. Now, if you did see a bullish reversal company, bullish reversal candle out there, Duncan, uh, then you would have a buy the D point, a Gartley buy pattern. 
Uh, price is at support on a weekly time frame. Now, the weekly time frame has a sell the D point pattern. And price is pulled back and it's testing this green oscillator and change line. So, on a weekly time frame, this is the type of price action you want to see. But that also means you want to see it hold that level. That level on a weekly time frame is right now at 12.39. If price can hold that, that says that the daily still needs to give you a bottoming pattern out there, but you are at support. If this area fails, 1215 would be the target area when we take a look at uh, Ford. So even though I said on a we're on a monthly on a weekly on a weekly base we're back towards a potential level of support. Well, if we are, we would see some bottoming signals. Well, it turns out you're in the next uh, 130 minutes out there. You're going to get a, a TD nine count bottom pattern out there for its 65 minute time frame. Let's try the 30 minute. 30 minute out there is uh, needs a road momentum indicator, needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom pattern there. So I might want to watch those two time frames to let you know whether or not the uh, weekly support may or may not hold out there. But again, the daily is uh, saying, I don't even know why you just said that, Steve-O. I did it because we were back at an area, potential area of support on that weekly time frame. So that's uh, thank you for all the requests out there. That was a beautiful thing. Um, somebody asked, why did I think that uh, Friday was a blow off top in gold and in silver? Really, it was more about the fact of how price sold off. So we knew that there was likely going to be some type of um, conflict that took place over the weekend, right? And that sent gold rallying up to the 24.50 area ish or what have you. And then all of a sudden, at about 11 o'clock, it started backing off and we got down below its breakout level. The same thing with regard to silver. So we're saying those TD9 count patterns on their daily time frame were holding out there. And what they were signaling, and what I think those instruments were signaling to us is just what we saw take place over the weekend which was a telegraphed, hey, we're sending over a bunch of uh, drones out there. In any event, let's hope we don't see World War III anytime in anybody's lifetime. Folks, stay tuned for all, all the other great programming. I'll see you back here tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp. Have a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Take care, folks.